My name is Jacqueline Stonehawker. I'm a realtor in the Augusta, Georgia area. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about five pros and two cons of living in the Evans, Georgia area. Today, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of living in Evans, Georgia, and I'm going to start with the pros. The first pro of living in the Evans, Georgia area is the cost of living. The cost of living in Evans is about 12% lower than the national average. And you can see on the website salary.com, a little bit of a comparison of the cost of living in Evans versus the national average. Here it compares the major cities. Um, and Washington, D.C. is one area that a lot of people move from. So Washington, D.C. is 56% higher than the national average. And Evans area is 13% lower than the national average. And this website also breaks down the cost of living by expenses. So the energy, food, healthcare, housing, and transportation are all lower than the national average. If you're moving from Washington, you'll find that Evans is 68% lower than the average in Washington, D.C. The next pro I want to talk about is the low crime rate in the Evans area. Evans, uh, in Evans, you have a 1 in about 1,600 chance of being a victim of a violent crime versus the state comparison of Georgia being 1 in 250. And you can go to the web website neighborhoodscout.com to compare that to the current area that you're living in right now. Um, in Evans, your risk of being a victim of murder, rape, or robbery are all below... Um, below 1% of uh, being a victim of murder is 0.07% chance. So you have a very low risk of being murdered in Evans. That's a, that's a pro, I think. Um, and the next pro I want to talk about is the education in this area. When we moved here seven years ago, we had the opportunity to choose any area in the country that we could live in. So when we were doing our homework, we were a little bit familiar with this area already because of our experiences in the military. And so our kids were a little bit older and we wanted to do some research on the schools. Columbia County school system is one of the highest rated in Georgia. And um, as you can see on greatschools.org, Greenbrier, Evans and Lakeside High School are the top three high schools according to this website. Um, in the Columbia County area, but that wasn't the only criteria we wanted. We wanted to be able to homeschool if we wanted to. So we've done that in the past. We've homeschooled our kids off and on different years, depending on their emotional or social needs. And so we also wanted to have a great homeschool community, which we do have in this area. None of my kids are homeschooled right now, but I made some really fantastic connections in the homeschool community when we very first moved here. Uh, we moved here at the end of a school year, so I didn't really want to put my kids in into public school for the last one or two months of school. And then, of course, everybody knows during COVID, um, we all kind of were sent home and to either do online school or homeschool. Um, for a couple of my kids, I chose to do homeschool instead of online school because they were younger and I felt that it wasn't um, it wasn't suiting their needs for that age group to be on a computer all day, every day. So we reestablished our connect, reestablished our connections in the homeschool community very quickly. There are so many groups and co-ops to choose from, and there are even um, competitive sports teams in the homeschool community, which compete with other private schools and public schools across the state. And then the last pro of that I want to mention, there are so many great things about this area, but the last pro I specifically wanted to mention is this community. I have never lived in a more friendly community. Everybody seems to watch out for each other. There's a wide range of political views. There's a wide range of demographics. And I have never felt unsafe in the Columbia County area um, as, and it, in the Evans area where I live. I've never felt unsafe going out and walking. Um, I really feel like everybody watches out for each other here and watches out for each other's kids. But for me, the only two cons that I could really think of are the walkability. So Columbia County lacks sidewalks from neighborhood to neighborhood and um, between the schools. There just aren't sidewalks. So we moved from an area where our kids were able to walk to the grocery store or bike to the grocery store and get themselves a treat. And that's not something that I really feel um, 
comfortable having my kids do here. Most of the roads to get anywhere are major roads. So they would have to bike on the shoulder of a road where people are going 45, 50 miles an hour. And I'm just not comfortable with that. And then it also makes it difficult unless your neighborhoods are connected to walk to friends' houses. Um, so that's one of the cons that we found when we moved here. And then the last thing that I thought of was the nightlife. So there's not much of a nightlife in this area. And that really doesn't bother me personally. Um, I like to have friends over and we socialize at my house. And um, so having public places to go wasn't isn't really a problem for me. But for teenagers, I think it would be really beneficial for teenagers to have some more things to do in the area. Um, my kids really have never complained about it. They have friends over to our house often. Um, and if they really want to go somewhere, they'll go into Atlanta or to Columbia. But those are things that are too plus hours away. And it's a little bit more of a challenge to, to find things for teenagers to do in this area. But if you're creative and you stick to things during the day, there's paintball and there's arcades, there's a laser tag place. Uh, there's now a Dave and Buster's and um, things are continually coming to this area that give teenagers a little bit of an opportunity to socialize. So there you have it. Some pros and cons of living in the Evans, Georgia area. Hey, if you made it through the whole video, leave a comment down below and let me know if it was helpful or not. Do you have other questions maybe that I could answer? And if you already live in this area and do you have different ideas of what the pros and cons are, please leave a comment down below. And to all of you watching, pretty please like and subscribe.